Here's an example of um, a translated uh, trig function. We want to make an equation out of that. And I think this one might be the hardest one because you don't see a whole period. Um, you see a maximum and a minimum, and that's about it. All right, so we first want to decide if we want to make it be a sine or a cosine. And you could go either way on this one. Um, I'm just going to pick sine just because. You could pick cosine. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to pick sine and I'm going to make this be a sine function. Alright, so let's do um, A first. So recall that A is one half the absolute value of Y max minus Y min. Okay, so our Y max, our max is right there. And by the way, this, this matches up to um, uh, the, the grid here. So this is 6. It's not something, uh, it's not going to be something goofy like 5.95. If, um, if, if it was that, I would show you exactly with the grid. Um, so this is just going to come straight over to 6. And then the minimum right here is at 2. All right. So we're, we're A is 1 half of 6 minus 2 in the absolute value. So that's 1 half of the absolute value of 4. So that's 2. So A is 2. So that's that. Alright, so now let's calculate the period. And we need the period to then find B. All right, so remember, period is one whole cycle. Well, I don't see a whole cycle, but I do know that this is a sine curve. So if we understand a sine curve like this, and of course I don't show it, but it could keep going on in this direction and keep going on in this direction. But what's important to realize with a sine curve is here's your maximum and then here's your minimum. Remember, we have these four equal arc sections. That's one of the characteristics of a sine curve. So the distance right here, the distance between the maximum and the minimum, well, that contains two of those equal arc sections. And two out of the four, that means half of the period is going to be between those two sections. So if I know the distance between the maximum and the minimum, all I have to do then is multiply it by 2, and I have the whole period. Because half of the period is between the maximum and the minimum. And then likewise between the minimum and the maximum. It doesn't matter. So our minimum right here is occurring at negative 3 pi over 4. And again, I'll have these line up nicely for you. And our maximum is at 5 pi over 4. So you can see that it goes by increments of 5, uh, excuse me, increments of pi over 4. You could simply count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 pi over 4s and 8 pi over 4s. And if we reduce that, it's 2 pi. So half of the period equals 2 pi. Therefore, the whole period is going to be 2 pi times 2, which is going to be 4 pi. All right, now we know the period. Let's calculate B. All right, so our formula solved for B is B is equal to the pure graph period, which is always 2 pi for sine and cosine, divided by the new period. So that's going to be 2 pi over 4 pi, and so that reduces to 1 half. So B is 1 half. Okay, halfway there. Phase shift and vertical shift. Let me do some erasing here.
make some room. Okay, so it's obviously been phase shifted, um, and it's and I think it's obvious it's been vertical shifted too. So we have both of these things to calculate out. So again, doesn't matter what order you do them in, you can do them however you want to. All right, so phase shift. Let's go ahead and calculate phase shift. So again, we're saying this is a sine. So a sine pure graph, its maximum occurs at one quarter of the way through the period. So our period is, oh, I erased it, what was it there? Our period was uh, 4 pi. Okay. period is 4 pi. Okay, so our period is 4 pi, so one quarter of the way through the period we should have a max. So one quarter of 4 pi is pi. So let's come over here to pi, and then let's go up here, and what did we say our maximum was? 6. So it's 6 and at pi right there I should have my pen working here pi and six okay so I should have a maximum right there but my let's change colors but my maximum is right there I want to make this as accurate for you as I can and five. Okay, so we should have, it's supposed to be right here, but it's really right here. So that means it has moved this way, right? It shifted that way. And how far did it shift? It shifted pi over 4. So this is where it, I like to say, should be, because that makes sense to me. Without a phase shift, it should be there. But it's over here because it got shifted in the positive direction, pi over 4. So our C is pi over 4. And then now we have to calculate our D, our vertical, our vertical uh, shift here. So D, colors, formula for D. D is y max minus a, and our y max was 6, and our a was 2, so that means our d is 4. Okay. Alright, now we're ready to make our equation. y equals 2, and this is a sine curve, good. And then our b is 1 half x minus uh, positive pi over 4 and then plus 4. There is the equation of a translated sine curve where you don't see the whole period.